Hey guys, I'm Raven and this video is all about the five essential accessories that you need for your wardrobe. Hey guys, my name is Raven Roberts and I'm a celebrity fashion stylist. This video is a part of my Level Up Your Style series. This is all about the essential accessories that you need for your wardrobe. I am a firm believer that accessories make or break an outfit. You can have on the same exact outfit as someone else, but the way you accessorize it is what makes it your own. So if you haven't, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're the first to be notified about every video in this series. So in the first video, I talked about all key wardrobe items that you need in your wardrobe. So you can watch that video here. So scarves and hats are essential for every wardrobe. Let me tell you why. So a hat, you can have a baseball hat, you can have a wide brim hat, you can have a fedora. There are a plethora of types of hats that you can own, but they just elevate an outfit. You can see here, this is what I call my equestrian look, okay? But if the, it was just the shorts and the shirt, it would have been cute, okay? We're not going to say it wasn't going to be cute, but it would have been cute, but it wouldn't have been as cute and put together without the hat. A hat can just elevate that outfit. Again, I have a monochromatic outfit here, and the hat just sets it off, okay? So if you need to, I wear scarves underneath my hats to protect them edges and make sure that my hat isn't rubbing all over my hair for our naturalistas out there. So that's a cute little tip if you worried about, you know, rubbing and whatnot underneath your hat, especially, especially your wool hats. When it comes to caps, I've recently become a baseball cap, dad cap wearing person. And again, this is with my braids and whatnot. Um, but these are seasonless and you can wear them in the wintertime, in the summertime, and they're great. For scarves. I love me a good scarf, honey. Um, this is literally just a hair accessory, okay? So if you wanna do hats or you wanna do scarves, it just adds a little something extra to your look. For scarves, they're a little bit more versatile because I've worn scarves around my neck, as you can see here. I love to tie them in my hair, whether it's a bandana that I've just done one knot. My longer scarves, I create kind of like a turban kind of headband with them which is great um, and then if you have even longer scarves you can even do a turban with them so scarves are super versatile and add so much to your wardrobe where you can mix and match them with different outfits and really just create new vibes with the same pieces so a go-to sunglass is necessary okay these are my go-to sunglasses I absolutely adore these I love a good kind of almost cat eye frame a big thick frame a very dark lens okay but any kind of sunglass you can rock and it'll elevate your look it'll just kind of bring a je ne sais quoi or an air about your outfit that may not have been there before especially if you're rocking some cool sunglasses cool sunglasses can definitely coordinate with your look so if you're wearing purple they have purple frames they have purple lenses you can make a monochromatic look and just level it up with your sunglasses you can t take them to a totally different color i used to have some like red sunglasses that i was obsessed with until they broke okay there's endless possibilities with sunglasses but they're a great way to level up a look so for us ladies we never really leave the house you may not sometimes you may but you probably are not going to leave the house without a hand bag okay Find one that is great for you. Find, you can even do a statement bag, which is great, that you can use as your everyday. Um, this bag here, I thrifted. It is a kind of, I think, like, it's a snake skin, but I think it might be like a python or something. Um, skate, snake skin bag. I have worn this as a fanny pack. I have worn this crossbody. I have worn this over the shoulder. But so many different ways um this one does not hold a lot of things 
but you can find a great everyday bag that will hold the things that you need. If you do need a bigger bag, go for a bolder color or something like that. But a great bag can make or break your look. And if you do have to carry like your laptop and all of those things, they make super cute bags now to make sure that they fit your laptop or your iPad. You can also opt for a separate bag. So if you want to have your computer and everything in one bag and then your smaller handbag with your essentials as a separate bag, you can also do that. And that's a great way to add color and a pop to your wardrobe without interrupting your daily flow. Belts, 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 guys. Belts are so necessary. Ugh. If you're not a belts person, hopefully after this segment you will be because I was not a huge belts person either, but now I am. Belts are your friends, okay? A little, some of us may be a little traumatized from our childhood with the belt, but a great belt or any belt is a great addition to your wardrobe and here is why. Whether you like more of a skinny belt, a regular belt, or even a wider belt, belts are essential for your wardrobe and here is why. A skinnier belt is great especially if you have smaller belt loops on your pants which I have some pants that have very 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 tiny belt loops. I don't know why but they do. So a skinny belt is great for that. It helps cinching that waist just even a little bit more and it draws the eye to your waist so it's like oh she looks snatched I do because I'm wearing a belt then you can also use a skinny belt underneath items that you're trying to crop so I've done this with t-shirts I've done this with sweatshirts where I have put a belt over the sweatshirt and pulls it out as you can see here and you don't see the belt sometimes you do depending on if I want you to or not but with a skinny belt you don't really have to see it because the fabric's gonna overhang but it's versatility it may not be a part of your look but it creates dimension in your look by cropping what you're wearing second with a regular size belt I love to wear belts with my jeans and my pants it just cinches in the waist. Again, it'll accentuate it. It draws the eye to the waist and be like, she is snatched, okay? And it brings another dimension to the look. We're always trying to add texture and dimension to our looks, and that's what accessories do. So again, you can add belts to pretty much anything. I have even added a belt over this dress. Um, it doesn't need a belt. I don't need to cinch in the waist here, but to accentuate my waist and to draw the eye there and also to break this dress up a little bit, add a little bit dimension, add a little bit of texture, why not add a belt? A wider belt is great with a longer silhouette of a blazer, especially when you have an oversized blazer, you want to be able to like cinch in that waist and it not create like a pucker or too much of a pucker. So a skinnier belt is going to do that versus where a wider belt is not. It's going to control more of that fabric. So again, when it comes to regular belts, I belt my jeans probably about at least 80% of the time. Um, unless I just run out of the house, I love a good belted jean. I love to cinch in a good waist, honey. So that's why everything I wear is high-waisted pretty much. But when you add an, a belt to an outfit, it just gives another layer of dimension and adds something to that outfit that wasn't there. So if you just have on jeans and a t-shirt, you add on a cute belt, it's like, wait a minute, who is she? Where is she going? I'm going everywhere, okay? But adding belts really helps to accentuate your waist, add dimension, and add texture. There's so many, so many in this possibilities in texture, size, and everything. A great woven belt is amazing because you don't have to worry about it being sized. You can kind of size it wherever you need to. A leather belt, we'll talk about this in the tools section of some, you know, tips, tricks, and hacks. But you can get a leather hole punch, which is perfect. So if you find a belt that's a little too big, you can size it. So we'll discuss that in the tools, tips, the tools, hacks, and tricks video. But 
it's great there's so many things you can do i try to look for genuine leather belts anytime that i'm shopping they just last longer and they don't have all of that peeling and stuff that sometimes a faux leather belt can have jewelry guys jewelry can elevate your look you don't have to wear as many necklaces as i do but even just a simple necklace even if it's just an initial necklace or whatever a necklace that you wear every day okay if you're not a necklace person it could be rings it could be bracelets it can even be a watch but just adding again that texture that dimension i did not put on jewelry today because i'm a crazy person normally i have stacks and stacks jewelry on I love a great hoop okay hoops are your friend studs are great I again have just become a jewelry person in the last like couple of years to where I like a lot of necklaces I always have on at least two bracelets okay um actually just got a new one so I'll be putting that on later anyways I always have on at least two bracelets these are pretty much like my staple necklaces that I stay with um, these don't come off again you don't have it to have a whole like Mrs. T starter kit like I do as far as your earrings or your necklaces or even your bracelets even a just like simple simple bracelet will add texture and dimension to your look it just adds a little something extra even if you just see a peak of your necklace if you have on a collar shirt and it's underneath it and you just see like slight gold line it adds an extra dimension to your outfit trust me guys trust me a great watch will also elevate an outfit okay i wear a huge gold watch not saying that you need a huge gold watch unless that is something that you want in your life but even just a simple watch it could be simple gold i love gold so that's what i gravitate towards but just even just a simple thin gold watch is great or you can do silver you can do white whatever works for your wardrobe again this is not one size fits all so it's not everyone needs this type of watch it's just great to have one for me, when it comes to rings, the more the better. Here is, this is kind of light for me. But when you're thinking about rings, do what works for you. I have simpler rings if you just want a simple gold band or silver band or a quartz or whatever. Do that. It doesn't have to be overboard. You don't have to wear middies and all of that stuff if that's not what works for you. I would definitely recommend gold filled versus gold plated especially if you're going to wear it um multiple times a week and you want it to last a lot longer than just a few weeks okay without turning you can watch my gold filled versus gold plated video here so if you are more of a silver gal go for a sterling silver so that is it guys thank you for watching this video and the second installment of leveling up your wardrobe i hope that this was helpful please comment down below what your favorite accessory to wear is <laughs> let me know if you're going to try any of these accessories that you may have been kind of hesitant or afraid to try again these things are so versatile and can fit into any wardrobe so until next time guys, watch this video that was picked just for you.